afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Chicago Cubs and the St. Louis Cardinals. In now, Chris Bryant, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Off the afternoon for the Cubs. The third base. First delivery to him on the way. Right. And he takes a cold First strike. 0 and 1. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Hey, love the confidence in that pitch right there, going right after one of the better hitters on this team. Not afraid to execute. So he got him swinging. Chris Bryant is retired to kick off the inning. Here comes the first pitch. Popped him up. DeYoung is there for it. And he makes the catch for the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And into bat next, the versatile weapon, Javier Baez. And he'll start him with a slider that's taken down and away for ball one. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. And this will bang up against the wall. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Into the box, Kyle Schwarber. And he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. One and one to Schwarber. Hey, I know we're only in the top of the first, but back-breaking blows with those two out runners in scoring position knocks, and they have a chance to capitalize right here. Boy, Dero, you touched it on it right there. I think as a pitcher, you try to get through that first inning, and the tag's there, and he's out trying to steal third. Great throw. Here's the second baseman, Colton Wong. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The pitch. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Ooh, that was ugly. Howdy, if you're waving at me. Swing and a liner. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. Stepping in now, Tommy Edmond as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. Uh, just couldn't pull that one back in time. It's 0-2 now. From the stretch, yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Fouled away. The next 0 2. Still no balls and two strikes. The next 0 2. Into center field, line drive base hit. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now. As he'll watch a curveball that bends in there under his hands at strike one. Goldschmidt, or Goldie just for short, he was an eighth round selection back in the 2009 MLB draft. Man, coming out of the late rounds, you have to grind for everything. Nothing is given to you. And this guy has turned himself into a very solid big league ball player. That's a big accomplishment. One ball and two strikes to count. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Here he comes again, one, two. Line towards center field. Well, this is unfortunately right at him in center field as he takes it in for the first down. Paul DeYoung digs in next. No career numbers to talk about for this matchup. He's ready. Here's the first offering. 
There's the big breaking ball and it's by him for a strike. There's a chopper foul over to the right side. 0 and 2 now. Chopper to short. Fielded cleanly. And there's out number two. So two on with two away. And that brings up Matt Carpenter. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. He'll start him with a sinker here, but that sinks a bit too much that time. It's 1-0. and And he falls behind now, 2-0. Wong, the runner at third. Edmund at second with two gone. Two balls and a strike to Matt Carpenter. That's an impressive pitch right there. If you're willing to throw a changeup on 2-0, that tells me that's a pitch you feel really confident with. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. Yadi Molina digging in now. And a golden opportunity here to give his guys the lead with three men aboard. First delivery to him on the way. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Popped him up. Contreras over to his left. He's got it. And that'll get him out of the jam. Second inning set to go, and standing in the outfielder, Kyle Schwarber. Here comes the first pitch. The 1 0 home is laid off for ball two. Schwarber, a 27 year old who was selected in the first round during the 2014 draft. Yeah, Matty, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Hey, there's not a lot you can do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. Bader patrolling center makes the play one out. So in now for Chicago, Wilson Contreras. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here's the pitch. In there, 0-1. Ooh, that's a good pitch to take a hack at right there. Change up, up in the zone. Eh, he'd like to have that one back. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1-2. Yeah, that's the spot right there for an 0-2 pitch. Make him see if he'll chase that slider in the dirt, especially with the bases empty. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Wilson Contreras goes down for out number two in the top half. Change up too low, and it's 1-0. and And that's in there for his strike one and one. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. Bader is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Last half of the second set to go. And digging in is the outfielder, Harrison Bader. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he takes ball one. A ball and a strike. Bader is a guy that has a lot of speed, no doubt about that. And while that's certainly a weapon for him offensively, it could be argued that it benefits him just as much on the defensive side of the ball given the position he plays. And not only just speed, but first step quickness speed. He's able to track balls down that other guys cannot get to. And sometimes that's half the equation. One ball, no strikes to count. From the stretch. Cold strike at the knees, one and one. Fowler behind a ball and two strikes. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. 
Here's a look over to first. Don't want to forget about him. A runner at first with no outs here. Still two and two. In the dirt here. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Count remains full. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Coming to the plate now, Jack Flaherty. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. Kipnis on to Rizzo at first, and they get them both. So a man at third here with two gone, and that'll bring up Colton Wong. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. Schwarber is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Top of the third set to get underway. And that'll bring up the former first rounder and Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. Pitch on the way. Down the left field line and deep. And that's going to land foul. The wind up and the 0 1. Hard hit ball to second. Wong is there. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. So one away here with the bases empty. And standing in now, the power hitting second baseman, Jason Kipnis. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Bottom part of the zone and the slider is in there for a called strike. Heading out towards shallow right. And he will make the play out there and there are two away now. So two are gone now in the Cubs half of the third and the pitcher Kyle Hendricks will be the next to bat. First offering on its way. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Bader is there and they go down in a hurry here as his side is quickly retired. Bottom of the inning now, and next it'll be the outfielder, Tommy Edmond. The right fielder. First pitch on its way. Ball one, no strike. The 1 0 home. Aye. Two balls and a strike to the St. Louis leadoff hitter. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. The 2 2. This one's down to third. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Throws in time, and that's out number one. And that brings up Paul Goldschmidt. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. Sinker to open the AB in there for strike one. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Cool, that's Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Back up the middle. And that'll get on through into center and he's got himself a one out hit. The batter number 11. Good job. So that brings in the power hitting middle infielder Paul DeYoung. Ball one to start the at bat. And this is just off the outside corner, ball two. If you've been paying attention, the guy on the mound does not want to come inside. If I'm at the plate, I'm leaning out over. Two and one now. Popped him up. Rizzo in foul ground. 
two down. Here's Matt Carpenter. The first baseman, number three. Matt Carpenter. From the belt, the pitch. Oh, Too much dip on the sinker, laid off for a ball. Changeup stays outside and is behind 2 0. Oh. They obviously circled him before the game that they were not going to let him beat them. Walked him this first time up and now they're nibbling again. Two balls and a strike now. The 2 1. A runner on first with two away. Neither guy willing to give in and the at bat will continue. Another try at 2 2. Hit out towards second. Kipton is showing off his range. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. All set for the start of the fourth. And set to go is the third baseman, Chris Bryant. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. Fly ball out toward left center field. Bader is right there, one down. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. Anthony Rizzo. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. And it's fouled away. Fouled off. A ball and two strikes to Anthony Rizzo. Hard liner to center field. And he's going to make the play over toward his right, and there are two away now. The next hub up, Javier Baez. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. And that's been their only hit so far in this one. They've been dealing with some really great pitching in this game. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Hit hard back up the middle, and that's through for a hit. The relay, the tag, and they'll get him at second, and with that, the side is retired. Here's the catcher, Yadier Molina. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Hit on the ground toward the left. Throw to first is in time for the first down. One man gone for the Cardinals in the fourth. And in the bat next, one of the fastest players in all of baseball, Harrison Bader. First pitch on its way. Pitch to the plate is a sinker for a called strike one. Sinker, one ball, one strike. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. On the move is Hayward, and no one will track it down. No runs, four hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. Weak grounder down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Another one sent foul. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0 2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And there are two away now. Next to bat for St. Louis, Dexter Fowler. He drew a walk his first time up. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. 
Starts him out with a changeup for a strike. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. Swung on and missed that strike two. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Hard hit towards center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Kyle Schwarber. The left fielder. Kyle. First pitch of the at bat. Oh, that's off the plate. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Now, this is popped up, but Molina should have room behind the plate. And he'll indeed make the play in foul territory for the first down. Ready for another chance. Wilson Contreras. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot. Has to put the ball in play. And that misses one and one. If you're going to have success against some of the better hitters in the game, you've got to get that pitch right there. 0-2, he's almost certainly out. 1-1, he's got a chance to really do some damage. And he fouls this one off. No runs, two hits, no errors so far for the Cubbies. Two and two to the Cubs catcher. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Right fielder is on the run. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the multi-gold glover Jason Hayward. First pitch coming. Here it is. Now the 1-0. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. Nope. That's the ball. That's ball Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. On to second goes Hayward. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. The center fielder, number eight, Ian Hunt. And that'll bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. Batting left handed here as he takes a look at strike one. And that's into the corner a foul ball and right. Two out here and a runner at second. Tries the slider to ring him up but he lays off one and two. Fouled away. Slap hard the opposite way. That's in there. Base hit. Now a long throw home. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. The battle. The second baseman. And is the second baseman, Jason Kipnis. As he takes a called strike on the black, it's 0-1. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. Hey, no shame in that. Your eyes light up when that heater comes above the belt. That's so tough to lay off of. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Edmund will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and the pitcher digs in next. It'll be Jack Flaherty. Here's the first pitch to him. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Oh. 
rounded back up the middle. Kipnis ranging to his right, and he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up Colton Wong. First pitch of the at bat on its way. The wind up and the 0 1. Lifted the other way out to left center. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Stepping in, Tommy Edmond. A hit in two tries so far. First pitch coming, here it is. Hit out towards second. That's through, and he's now two for three in this one. In now, Paul Goldschmidt. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. This is where you got to take stock in the situation. Adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first. If nothing less, pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving. The 2 0 on the way. You could bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. Edmund rounds third and is digging for the plate. He comes across to score, and the Cardinals have tied it. We're all square and one apiece. The batter number 11. Good job. Standing in now, Paul DeYoung. As he rips it on the ground to second. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. Long throw to the plate. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. The first base, the number 15. Matt. Digging in now will be Matt Carpenter. And there's a swing and a miss at an off-speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. Back up the middle. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. Oh, and it's off target, and he'll be safe at third. To the plate now, Yadier Molina. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. 0 oh for two for him to this point. A ball and a strike. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Hit weakly on the ground to short. Reined in. And an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. Victor Caratini will grab a bat and lead things off here in the top of the six. Number seven, Victor Caratini. And it's fouled away. 0 1, here's the pitch. Strike two as the fastball is let go. Lifted down the line in left. And no one will track it down. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. And another foul ball. You know, taking you inside the mind of a batter right here, you can't get an auto swing mode. You still have to control the strike zone. Count is one and two now. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0-2 now to 2-2. A good job of plate discipline by this hitter, not chasing those pitches just off the plate. And the pinch hitter is retired here, one away. Now back to the leadoff spot from the Cubs lineup. Stepping forward, Chris Bryant. He flew out in his last at bat. This guy has been unbelievable. There were billboards outside Wrigley while he was still in AAA. And what does he do when he shows up? Rookie of the year. MVP. I mean, get in line. That missed. Close. It's ball two. And that's over. Two and one. Oh, 
All even now, two and two. The pitch. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. The first base. And that'll bring Anthony Rizzo to the plate. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. This could be a huge win for the guy on the mound if he's able to get out of this inning one two three and start fresh next inning with the middle of the order. Good breaking ball there laid off for the second strike. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. The one two. Liner towards second. He gets dirty but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. Here's Javier Baez. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane, as yes, he did. It's ruled a strike. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. The one two is a slider taken for a ball. Popped him up. Molina moving to his left. No trouble with this one and the inning is over. Alec Mills enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 30, Alec. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Harrison Bader. Meeting up, Lewis, the center fielder, Harrison Bader. First pitch of the at bat. Curveball is nowhere close, and it's one and zero. Fastball in there for a strike. Ninety-two on the radar gun that time. A one-one to one and two now. Here's the pitch. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. Here's Dexter Fowler now. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last AB. He hit that ball on the screws. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. There's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. Sitting all over a piece of cheese. He flew open on the front side. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Stepping in for the Cardinals, Jack Flaherty. 0 for two on the afternoon so far. Ball one. Well, he punched out the last guy, but he didn't get any favors from the blue on the first pitch in this at bat. Probably should be ahead of this hitter instead of behind. In there, one and one. Now here's the pitch. And he looks at one in there, one and two. And that misses two and two. Low scoring game thus far, two to one here in the sixth. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Leading off the inning, Kyle Schwarber, and they'll need him to get something going here. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Didn't quite catch the zone there. Ball one. And 
and this ball runs away for ball two two and one very impressive outing so far his command has been spot on even when he misses his spot it isn't out over the heart of the plate he's throwing quality pitches just hung in there on that one fouled off the 2 2 one more time Line drive base hit. The catcher, number 40, Wilson, Contreras. John Gant takes the ball here as he'll enter with the runner at first and nobody out. Number 53, John. Next to hit will be Wilson Contreras as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Bat explodes as this has popped up. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Working for the punch out and the offering. Count still at 1 and 2. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one our score. Down the left field line and deep. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Hot shot on the ground is short. And through into left field. Back to back hits have him set up to start the seventh. Now back. Right fielder. Jason Hayward. Here's Jason Hayward now. As he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. And he is in there at third as the possible tying run. Now batting the center fielder, Ian Happ. At the plate now, Ian Happ. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. A hit in two tries for him so far. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 and 2 now. Obviously, a huge situation in the game here, but at the plate, he's got to keep it simple. He can't try to do too much just because the bases are juiced. At the very least, just find a way to get that tying run home from third. To two balls and two strikes now. Cutter in. It doesn't make it back. Three and two. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0 and 2 to work the count back. And he has come through as this ought to be enough to get him the lead. One run scores. And a huge insurance run is across to score all the way from first. It's 4 to 2. Into the box now, Jason Kipnis. And he fouls this one off. Here comes the 0 1. And here's one that misses to the Chicago second baseman. It's a ball and a strike. A ball and two strikes to Kipnis. Swing and a miss. And that's a much needed first out there. David Bodie will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Into the corner and slicing foul. Trying to add some padding to their lead in the form of that run standing out there at second base. And there's strike two as the fastball's fouled off to the right. Nothing in two. And he got him. Here's Chris Bryant now. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. No balls in one strike. Fouled away. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And it's a foul ball. Another 1-2 delivery. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's 2-2 two and two now. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Fastball right back to the mound. 
and he'll flip it onto first and win it that Rowan Wick gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. So coming to the plate, Colton Wong. He'll start things out here in the bottom of inning number seven. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. That's lifted the other way out to left. And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. Digging in, Tommy Edmond. He's two for three thus far. First offering on its way to right field and deep. Look at this thing go. Hayward looks up, and that one is gone. Hey, every once in a while, this speed guy will jump up and bite one. He absolutely crushed that baseball. Doesn't fit his usual tool description, but he can go deep if you leave one over the heart of the plate. Stepping in now, Paul Goldschmidt, as he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe. He's two for three and looking for more here. A swing and a high drive to right center field. A ball that's carrying. But he won't get there as it lands just shy of the wall. And there's your tying run at second base with a one out double. At the plate, Paul DeYoung. As he can't catch up on a fastball at the letters and it's strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And he sends it the other way toward right center. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Stepping in, Matt Carpenter, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. I think he's forgotten about sometimes, Matt Carpenter, when we talk about the best hitters in our sport. I think he's one of the more underrated offensive players. And that's taken high and outside for ball one. That misses 2-0. and Now you can see he's working around this guy right here. Why not? First base is open. Walk wouldn't be the worst thing in this spot. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Back goes Hayward. Still ranging back. Gone! A two-run shot that gives them the lead. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. Ryan Tapera takes over pitching duties. Looking to get that final out now here in this seventh inning. Into the box, Yadier Molina, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Tapera, a six foot one inch right hander, he was selected in the 19th round back in the 2009 MLB draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. tell you about and it's a guy drafted number six overall out of North Carolina in 2006 the six foot six inch lefty Andrew Miller first pitch of the at bat on its way it's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse one and one the count of the Cubs first baseman in for strike two able to protect the plate with two strikes and he'll see another one he was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there but left that one in the zone that got fouled off fastball swung on and missed for the first down now the pitch 
slapped hard the opposite way. And a reach, but he can't get there as it falls. And he is in the second base with a double. His third hit this afternoon. Now back. Standing in now, Kyle Schwarber. And it's fouled away. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2. Man, it's a pitcher you have to love pitching 0 2. Multiple ways up, down, in and out, throw the breaking ball, a lot of different ways to get guys out. Lifted in the air to straightaway left. Fowler has a read on it. Two gone. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Into the box, Wilson Contreras. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Low and away with that one. It's one and two. One ball. Fouled off. One and two. Here it is. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. of inning number eight set to go and next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Harrison Bader now time granted here at the plate as he'll step out of the box he's set here it comes yeah he made up his mind early to take the first pitch because that thing was right down the middle on its way, the 0 1 pitch. Liner towards second. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. Now back, left fielder, Victor. At the plate now, Dexter Fowler. And she'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0 and 1. Now a move over to first, and he just manages to get his hand in. A bouncer up the middle. Baez ranging to his right. Kipnis on to Rizzo, but a little slow in developing as they'll just get the one out. Tyler O'Neill will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with a runner at first and one gone in the inning. Tyler O'Neill. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. That's Two and zero. Oh. That's where he wants that sinker to end up. But that was a nice job of laying off. Ready with the 2-0. -oh. High drive deep down the left field line. A ball that's carrying, but this will land untouched. Runners on first with one down. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Can't come out of his game plan right here. He knows he's a known sinker baller. I know it was a four-seamer right there, but get back to that two-seam. It's what his M.O. is. High in the air down the right field line. Hayward is over, and he puts it away in foul ground for the second out. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that'll bring up Colton Wong. From the belt, kicks and deals. Nope. Hit in the air to shallow center. 
And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Giovanni Gallegos takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Number 65. Giovanni. So that'll bring up Jason Hayward. Two for three with a double on his line so far. The right field. He's set and the pitch. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. And that's up in the zone a bit, but a cold strike. 0 and 2. You got to go into battle mode after falling down 0 2 and find a way to work yourself back to even. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Oh man, that's a frustrating one as a hitter. That pitcher missed right there. He did not want to hang that breaking ball with two strikes and you foul it away. You have to regroup. You're not seeing that again. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. And now pitch on the way. Ian Happ comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. There's that slider truly in an unhittable spot. It's one and one. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. He's having a great day at the dish. His timing is spot on. This pitching staff's going to have to find a different way of attacking him. Got him to chase out of the zone that time. Ian Happ is retired, and now they're down to their final out in this one. Now a change up here to start things out, but that'll dip a bit too low, and it's 1-0. and Ball and a strike. Ready with the 1-1. One and one. A Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. The Cubs are down to their final strike here. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. A swing and a ground ball to third. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. And this is a strike three called and a bit of a questionable ending there as the ball game is over. It's always nice to give your fans at home something to cheer about and they definitely did that right here coming through with a big win at home. A one run finish today five to four the final score. St. Louis used a three run seventh to help propel them to the win. John Gant is credited with the win. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleszak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.